In this video, I'm going to be going over one of my favorite passing setups in the game right now out of the Trips tight end offense. And if you want to get uh, follow along with the playbook, I'm going to be in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. Uh, and if you want to get my full New England Patriots offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for that. I also just put in the Patreon today a brand new update for um, our Big Nickel over G defense, defensive ebook. So if you want to check that out, um, that's available as well. Again, Patreon members get access to everything, all ebooks, all updates to those ebooks. Um, and I did update the Trips Tide In ebook as well uh, with some new stuff as well. So if you want to get access to all of that, um, that is all linked in the description. And again, it's all at the Patreon. So for just $10, um, you're going to get access to everything. Okay, so I want to show you my favorite setup in the game. Um, this is becoming very quickly one of my favorite offenses, uh, or it's been one of my favorite offenses, one of my favorite route combos. Um, this is out of PA slot corner. Now, you only need an outside apprentice for this. You don't have to have um, Hot Route Master. You just need an outside apprentice. Most people can have, will be able to have that by now, and especially an Ultimate Team, uh, for pretty cheap. Uh, but anyways, PA Slot Corner is the play. And um, like I said, this is one of my favorite sets in the game right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to C-route the uh, outside trips receiver. We're going to streak the middle trips receiver. We're going to drag our tight end, and then we're just going to motion this guy across. And when we run this, we want to have our trips to the short side of the field. You're going to notice that if you have short and elite on Godwin, he's going to light up on this post route against man coverage. Um, and this is really one of my favorite plays in the game. Part of the reason I like this so much is because the C route on the left side, you're just going to highball that against man to man once he if he gets that separation and you'll be able to you know for the most part uh be able to consistently beat man to man but i'm going to show you what makes this play um i think really 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 powerful here in just a second but i want to show you one more time against man to man um mike evans doesn't have the best route running but you want to see like if he gets that separation right there trust the route you're going to highball that and just pass lead it up and out and um it's it's you know, one of the best routes in the game for reasons. Most consistent man beater, uh, I think, in the game. The left sided C route. Now, um, the the rest of this play against man to man. So they're going to have to drop. Typically, what they're going to do to stop this is they're going to drop an outside third and they're going to drop, you know, that guy into man to man coverage on him. This is a drop eight coverage. What you want to do then is you want to progress to your tight end. As you can see, if your tight end is open, you want to take that. That tight end read is actually a really simple but really powerful read in this offense because it forces them to have to put a hard flat over there, forces them to have to put some coverage over there as well. So we want to take advantage of our tight end drag when possible. And then what this is going to do is they're going to have to kind of shadow that tight end drag and so then this is going to leave this post route for an inside pass lead. You want to aggressive catch it. Um, and as you can see, it's going to be able to beat man-to-man uh, -man really well. And it can beat man even better if he has short and elite. Uh, Godwin has slot -o -matic, I think. So that's why he's not lighting up. But it's also really this is also a really, really good play for any kind of cover zero blitz. So I'm going to just you know throw a little cover zero um Cover zero blitz, uh, just to kind of give you an illustration here. And you'll see once he cuts inside, you're going to basically just pass lead that down and inside. I'm not freeforming it, even though I do have you can. Um, I just feel like freeform is fairly inconsistent. I'm starting to really like just not freeforming anything, to be honest, um, and just classic passing any everything. Uh, because really the main thing you want to be doing is you want to be highballing everything, honestly. Now, why this is so good against zone, and this is why we want to run this to the short side of the field, um, this is actually a really uh, specific type of throw. So what we want to do is if we see zone coverage, we want to throw the C route ideally, okay? Um, and we want to throw this, it's it's really specific. So we're going to high ball, and we're going to basically throw it outside, okay? So we're trying to almost throw it like a back shoulder. So high ball outside. And you see that he can ag him. Now, um, this is, if you if he has like clear separation, like if it's obvious that it's zone coverage, you can just pass lead it outside. But I will say that I think the high ball really does a good job of kind of dumbing the zones out. And it also gives him that animation that you're seeing. So what we're going to do is as soon as we throw the ball, 
we're just going to hold the X button on PlayStation or the A button on Xbox. So we're going to possession catch it, basically. So you'll see here, I'm going to throw it, hold X, and he'll get that he'll get that little toe tap and dive out of bounds animation. So this is very effective. Now, this is only effective to the short side um, because of the fact that this, uh, this streak to Julio Jones will pull the zones. So you see here again. We're possession catching it, and as you can see, we're getting very consistent catch animations um, on the sideline. Now, if they are in cover three, we'll show you um, that this same basic philosophy is going to be a little bit more open, um, specifically against cover three. High ball, possession catch, boom. Okay? High ball, and you're holding possession catch. I don't click onto him. Um, some people do suggest clicking onto him. I really like just high ball and hold X um, or hold possession catch. Now I wanna show that first thing we showed you in the beginning of the video where they're gonna man up the safety, drop a third, maybe drop a hard flat. I want you to watch this. You'll see here, we can still throw this against that coverage as you saw right there. So if you have a really good player, um, you know, they may, have, they may have like KOs and stuff, but if you have like a really, really good player, this is very difficult to stop. Um, if you understand how to throw the high ball, it makes this play really hard to guard. Um, they have to use with a post over the middle. If they don't, you know, it's going to be a dot. But you see here, just high ball, passing it outside. You see how that third is doing nothing. That third is doing nothing. When we put a streak, and especially when that streak is that close to the C route, the third is going to suck into the, into the streak. So you kind of have to trust this a little bit. Um, if you if they are if they are indeed like cross manning him with the safety, you know I'm gonna put a deep I'm gonna put a lot of coverage over there. Um, you have to kind of trust this a little bit, but a lot of times you'll be you'll be surprised at how much you'll complete this. Okay, so just keep this in mind. Um, if they're in cover two, this is obviously again I'm, I'm kind of trying to give you like okay if they're gonna adjust it this way then you're gonna have this. Um, you know, but really, this is a great play. It's a great base play. This is kind of becoming one of my favorite base plays, to be honest. This is incredible against cover two. The cloud, you're just going to free um, highball it up and over. So when you see that it's a cloud flat, you do want to make sure that you're not highballing down and away, right? So if you see the defender is clearly going to sit or squat down, right? Like a cloud flat, like he's just going to kind of do that. You'll see that little up top animation that's open. We're going to throw that. Okay. Now, again, if they are in, let me see here. I don't know if I'm going to have the ability to show it to you. Um, but basically, the idea would be, let me show you. I can show it to you out of something like this. So let's say that this guy was the cloud flat. So this was the outside guy and this guy was in the third. Okay. Just want to show Just want to illustrate this to you. What you'll notice is that third will still get pulled by the by this guy so even if they're doing like a like a cover two out of like big nickel over g or something where they have thirds on them you're gonna see here this guy will go with him and then that's gonna be open in that little alley right there it's a really really good route and when you pair it with this it makes it darn near impossible to stop now the rest of so what they're gonna have to do is basically user it okay um if they go over here to the left there's gonna be a little window right here where you want to highball this post um if you don't want to highball you don't have to but i really like to highball now the other thing i want to say about this post real quick um specifically against cover three cover four this streak is going to clear zones out late so if you wait on this post you can throw it about right here and again you're just agging it right in front of the safety so this post provides a lot of power uh to this offense so guys, this is my probably one of my favorite plays in the game right now. Uh, we have a ton of stuff in the ebook that breaks down how to how to really take this play to the next level. If you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook, make sure you join the uh, Patreon. It's only ten dollars to sign up for that, and again, it gets you access to all of my Madden Twenty Three offensive and defensive ebooks. Thank you for watching the video, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.